Hey guys, welcome to my favorites video. It's actually one of my favorite types of videos too because I love experiencing great products and be able to share with you guys. I don't know, I somehow I forgot to do um, January favorites, but this is actually one of my favorite types of videos to do because it's from personal experience and I love to be able to um, get to know products and when it works so well for me, be able to share with you guys because a lot of my subscribers back from Barbados usually message me on Facebook and ask me, oh, what do you use? So with this video, I'm able to address everyone and let you see. So let's get right into it. Okay, you tell me, usually my skin is dry everywhere else but my face. So that is until it's like winter season. Even though the sun is on stuff, the air can get kind of dry and that makes my skin get dry. So what I use is this Lubriderm Daily Moisture Lotion Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 15. Now I love this product so much. Um, it's very moisturizing and it lasts throughout the whole day. Cause you don't want ash allergy, you know, you know how dark skin when it get dry, it's like real ashy and gray and nasty. So this product works really well, and I like it for my my actual face too because I mix it with my foundation, so I use it as a tinted moisturizer. So I do would do like one part, sorry, one pump um, moisturizer with two parts foundation, and I mix it together. It gives a really nice light coverage all around my face, and around my my uh, my forehead, the T zone, and around like my chest and shoulders. So it works really good. So you guys just really check this out. If you have really dry skin, Lubriderm Daily Moisture Lotion. That's just the name for it. Now the next product I love also is for my face. And this is Origins Clear Improvement Mask. It's an active charcoal mask to clean pores. And it's something in French there. I don't know what that says. But this mask basically is, it takes so all the nasty like whiteheads, blackheads that you have in your face. I have active prone skin as I said before. And this mask works so well. I usually have, I have a lot of Origins products actually. This is one of my favorite brands for skincare. I have the Chet's Advances Face Wash. I have the Green Tea Lotion. Um, and I have, I have like a ginger body lotion. So Origins works so well with me. So it looks really nasty. It actually looks like mud. Like a black version of mud kind of. And this goes all over your face like this. So it looks like that. It's pretty thick. And then it dries in. So when it dries, you know is um, when it's time to wash it off when you can't move your mouth because that's how hard it gets. And when you wash it off, your skin is so clear, it's so fresh. It's like you no, know it's not shiny, no oil, everything is like sucked out somehow into the the mask itself. When you wash off your skin, it looks radiant and beautiful. So I really definitely recommend this. Any girls that have acne pro skin. Um, I usually break out at that time in the month, so try this out. This works really well for me. Now the next product I have is actually this Naked palette. I know this has been out for a really long time. It's, it's been out so long that I have a second edition Naked too. And it's not that I didn't know about it, it's just that I just never got around to buying it. And I thought, I have so many neutral um, eyeshadows in my kit itself. So I was like, why do I need another neutral palette? But my friend Travel, the guy you saw during my hair in my last video, he actually recommended it to me because the place he works sells it and it looks like this the packaging is so I already have to wash this off my like, give me a second <laughs> okay right so the packaging is basically like in this velvet casing it's grown so pretty itself and then it also comes with their Urban Decay Primer Potion which is a really good I use it as well but I wouldn't recommend going by any full size of this because you can find tons of like primers that are cheaper there's one from Alpha that's like a dollar um, there's one from L'Oreal called Decrease and you can get for like 5 or $6 from the um, drugstore. But this is good as well. It comes in a very small sample size with it. But depending on if I upload my cat tutorial before or after this, you'll see it. I use it in that tutorial, my Cassie inspired makeup tutorial. But the colors are like this. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can get focus with you. So what I love so much about this palette is that as neutral as the colors are they're so pigmented and they're so oop, they're so soft and velvety you don't have to use too much and it blends so well into your lid follow i don't get too much problem with follow but i really do love it it also came with a small brush it's like somewhere in my bathroom if you again i go for it but it comes with a small brush a primer potion and the palette itself so it's really good but i can't remember too much it had cost i'll probably put an annotation right here so you guys try it out but i really do love the naked palette Eventually I'll probably get the Naked too. I don't really see a need for it, but if I'm persuaded enough, I'll probably get it. Now my next favorite is mascara. One part, I love mascara, even though I have very long lashes. 
I think mascara just kind of opens up your eyes a lot more. And one brand I've been introduced to is Benefit. So I have first go ahead and this light in the month of January. I got this in Sephora. It's Benefit Spad Gal Lash. And this works so, so well. At least I thought it did until I was introduced to Benefit. They're real. Oops, what is that? This works even better. So this one I can recommend for um, thickening and lengthening. Mostly, I find I get um, more um, thickening results with this one. And with their real, I get length. Like my eyelashes literally scoop and go all the way up. It's amazing how much length I get with this. Downside I do get to this um, their real is that you have to apply a subtle amount, at least for my lashes. If I apply two coats of this, my lashes start to come together and I don't like that a lot, so it's, mm -mm, I can't do that. But I really do like this. I'd probably wear this more for daytime and it's for nighttime because these makes it look if you have like false lashes on, real top. And I, I have this on right now. I have on like um, lashes at the end of my eyes, but for the most part, like, okay, ignore that section. Maybe you can see my real lashes there. See, they're really long. And that's because of this mascara. I have long lashes, like I said, in itself, but this just kind of accentuates them a whole lot more. So I really do like the brand, benef the brand benefit for mascara. Um, if I was to pick one, I don't like my lashes looking too fake all the time, so I'll probably go with Bad Girl. But like I said, they're real. If you girls like the false look, go for that. Now my last favorite for the month is actually a perfume, and it's from Victoria's Secret. It's called Bombshell. This perfume smells smell like come get me to me. <laughs> it's a very, it's like a sweet, seductive nighttime scent, and I love it so much. Um, any girls that try to not boy. Just spray this on you like you neck and it smell like hmm. The perfume is that it's not so overpowering so I could wear it during the day and night time. And the packaging itself is so cute. It has this little black bow around it. It's pink. I'm not really a fan of pink, but I just really like it. Um sorry guys, I changed your light and it was getting kinda of dark. Sorry secret bombshell perfume. This has hints of like what was it? Purple purple passion fruit and vanilla orchid. So it just smells, I think the best way to describe it is sexy. So thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Um, the Cinnamon Challenge at Maitre Vella did. The only way for you to see it is to go to my other channel, A Dose of Island Life. I have the link down below and you can watch it there. Um, it's really funny so you guys should go see it. I'm just going to say a little disclaimer and say that I failed at it. I didn't even have a mouth for a second. I couldn't take it. But Jamal was a trooper, even though he spat out eventually, he had it for a good couple seconds. <laughs> it's really funny, so go and watch it. Um, people are asking about my hair. This hair that I have in my hair is the same. We've been about to take it out right now because I have a shoot coming up and I can't have it in my hair for the shoot. So it's back to natural, I'm excited. Um, I love my natural hair and I also love um, changing up some things for weave. So it's not so much that I get tired of my natural hair or anything like that. So I sometimes just like change the look. Um, people are asking about if I had any damage. So far, no, I moisturize my natural hair that is out with oils and I haven't gotten any damage or anything like that. Um, people are asking if I have to flat iron it all the time to keep the curl. What I usually do is, okay, I'll flat, I would curl it with a flat iron for like, say, a Monday. And then what I would do to keep it so I don't have to flat iron it again the following day is um, twirl it back up in the same curl pattern and pin it. So when I let it down, I'll tie down my hair and when I let it down, it, the curl is still there. So that way you don't have to like keep um, damaging your hair with the heat all the time. But I haven't gotten any heat damage. My hair is fine. I know it misses being natural because it's turning back um, because of the water and humidity in the air and stuff like that. But this hair that I had on my head, if you've seen it last year, is the best hair that I ever buy. I recommend it to anyone. Let me, just, let me get the packaging for you for a second. Yeah, so I have a, I have a little bit left and this is what it actually looked like. When I first got it, so it's kind of tattered now, but that's okay because I'm about to take it out. And I had it in for about three weeks. And this hair is so soft. Um, like I said again, it's Indie Remy French Premium Virgin Hair, and the style name is French Wave Remy. And I have a 12 and a 14 in my hair. If you want to see the tutorial for it, my friend Javel did my hair, did a great job. Um, it's in my last video. So. Uh, if I buy hair again, this is going to be fine because the thing about this hair is that it doesn't shed. It does shed, I mean, all we, um, 
we've shed, shed, ugh, all we've shed, but this, okay, as opposed to, I don't want to bash any brands, but the brand you should get from my straight hair when you have the straight weave is premium now two or something like that, and that sheds like a dog, man, it like, sheds very, very little, <laughs> like, it's not a bad amount of anything, and it's soft, and when, I, I washed my hair, I think, twice since I had this in, and the curl but pattern just come back and looks so pretty so if I buy it again I would buy this brand again the thing about it is that this because this is virgin here it's still gonna be a little more expensive this retail at the in the store I got it for it was like $90 a pack but the guy and me got to talking and I used my little skills to like friends over here and he gave me like $70 so I got a good discount so but what I'm saying is that if you're going to buy it here, you may as well invest in it properly because if you can have it in your head, you want to look natural. You don't want it to be looking like sticky and I hate weaves that look not natural and hard and when you wind hit it, it's really like shift back and forth like that. <laughs> like, I like it here to flow and be able to comb through it and it feel good. So if you're going to buy weaves, just spend the extra money and make sure it's good here. So I'm going to stop talking. Have a great week guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. No, the thing with me, usually my my skin is just <laughs> Wait, huh? Oh, I like so much blush cream, it's not too over- uh, It's mixing. <laughs> I'm having this funny trying to talk, I just can't talk. It's like I be thinking about the sentence after the sentence I'm saying right now. So I start talking about the second sentence in the middle of the first sentence. Then it's like, uh, uh, stop. So cool. Slow down. I just want to get to know you, but don't turn around. You guys like Bobby Valentino? I used to love him. I don't know where he went.